once again, my name is Stolen Debut, and from across the country, we got... It's me, Turner! Hey, in the house! What is up with it, everybody? So, uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you can know when new <laughs> videos drop, huh? But for today, guys, we have a brand new episode of Better Call Saul on the horizon. What? What? So, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell because we will not be able to post a video early next week. We will be at camp, so that one is going to be up, honestly, probably about a week after the episode premieres. So, no spoilers, all right? But we will still have the series finale reaction review ready for you. So without further ado, I give a you a better call, a salzu. Ooh, this shot is, oh my god, dude. Oh, I think this show is really fucking good at using natural light. Unlike any like other TV beer? show I've seen. Oh my god, look at that. The mirrors, the slight mirror reflection on the face, the sunlight drooping in. This is beautiful. Oh my god, it's Kim! <laughs> oh, interesting. Here we are, Kim in the future. Who's this clown? It's this motherfucker. This guy's a jabroni. He totally is. I was just trying to say. Look at the sunglasses just hanging around his neck. Ew. Mayonnaise cupcakes. <laughs> Think those. What are those? Deviled eggs? Is that what they call them? <laughs> like halved nope. eggs with little pieces of shit on them? Mayo cupcakes. <laughs> Mayo cakes. I like that. Ah, this looks like hell. Listen, guys, I'm running real low on money, and I've been looking into cooking some meth. What do you think? <laughs> Kim looks very hip, and I don't know how I feel about it. It's the, the jean skirt thing going on. And the sneakers and, like, the cut bangs. Here's the question, though. Is are her and Saul... Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a jabroni. I don't get how guys can do that shit. It's so gross. I can't... I can't tell if she is, like, happy or unhappy or, like, faking it or... Well, if we can tell by the way that that sex sounded, I think she's unhappy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no noise from her whatsoever, just yep, yep. It's fucking awful. She's in hell. What if you find out that she's doing the same exact stuff that Saul was doing when he was Saul Goodman? She's, like, fucking people over and shit. Just secretly. Oh. It's like, hey, here's the sequel. Better call Kim. <laughs> just you watch. We're going to see her, like, leaving work, and she's just going to be, like, crying all the way home. Yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> There's so something's got to be going on, because... Yeah. This is just, otherwise this is just kind of weird to include. No, yeah, you can tell it like she's holding back something. Interesting. <laughs> so she just changed the subject when they were talking about drugs. <laughs> they asked her what kind of sandwich she had. And oh. she said tuna salad and she made it with miracle whip instead of mayonnaise. So Oh my god. She's I'm about just to living die due to boredom. She, she's just living. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the boredom just from watching this. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> I, like, don't feel good watching this. This is a real horror movie right here. <laughs> oh, no. He's, like, bragging to her. This is weird. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you think she's going to confess? Oh, see, yeah, it's her, her confessing to everything. Uh, oh my yeah. god! Yeah, so this is. I like how they're shooting this text. It's moving. It's not just like stale shots that yeah. jump in. A little different, and there's a nice vignette. 
Well, damn. I wonder what this means for little Jimmy. Uh-oh. She thinking about Jimmy? I don't think she knows where he is. Pretty sure she's think. Oh my god, this is brilliant acting. I can just see the internal conflict. Wonderful work. Oh my god, brilliant. This is so good. You called it though. Oh my god, she's she was so gonna lose good. It. Yeah. Such a beautiful shot with the lights just dancing in the background. Oh, Fuck. oh. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Also, does he just not have gloves on? Jesus. No, oh, that's wait. A, yes, he yeah. does. Okay, he does. It's tough with the black and white. He's just touching everything. Oh, he has gloves. We talked about this. <laughs> talked about this 20 <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> That's so funny. Literally just having a drink. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. That's such a cool fucking... <laughs> yeah. God, that's so that's sick. That's pretty neat. Is he going to knock him out with the urns? Holy shit, Saul. so morbid <laughs> yeah I was about to say I knew that they weren't paying attention to <laughs> why is he driving weird oh so he can, my god so he can get in trouble so Saul can get out I guess but like Jesus dude here's the real problem is why didn't he drive further away like speed away to pull the police away yeah, from the house because now because now they're still close i guess like they're still distracted <sighs> good lord what he's being an ass oh my gosh all right i guess they're showing the transformation but damn i didn't expect it to be I don't remember him ever being that cold and harsh, but I guess maybe. Yo, is this? Who do we got is it here? Jesse. Is it really Jesse? <laughs> I recognize the yellow coat or sweatshirt. In the beanie. Wow! It's cold. I wasn't expecting that. How about that? Well, this is going to be really interesting. You want to know why, too? Because, like, Kim Wexler is almost like the Jesse Pinkman of Better Call Saul. Because, like, all the bad yeah. shit happens to them. But, they're like, the deep down. They're by, right. But they're deep down, people. they're great. They're good people. Yeah. They don't deserve to be in this line of work. This feels a lot more like Jesse Pinkman. Yeah. The last episode was honestly not it was kind of weird. <laughs> Something off, for sure. This scenery is absolutely gorgeous, too. <laughs> this is brilliant. You know, I really wasn't expecting that, but that was an absolutely an incredible scene. That was really special. Yeah. It was also cool to hear that she helped out Combo, because, like, <laughs> it's kind of fucked, but... Dude, like, she helps Combo, she saves his life, and then he goes on to live in Breaking Bad, only to be killed by... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Cool little shot there. Mm-hmm, that's a really nice shot. Dude, he looks like he's at his desk. This is really, really yeah. brilliant. <laughs> I love how good this shot looks of, like, old lady getting ready with her laptop that she's all learned how to use now and 
She's got her headphones and everything. She's got it plugged in directly to the Ethernet as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew it. Dude, the color. Oh, it's the oh, color. That's so oh. fucking good. <laughs> What do you think I'm doing? I shit my pants. I gotta change my fucking diaper, bitch. Oh my god, what is this? Dude, there's no way. I don't I don't buy it. If he's gonna kill this lady, I don't buy it. <laughs> she has her little help button, that's so funny. He's gonna kill her. She's gonna die of like a heart attack or something. I think that's what's gonna happen here. Damn! <laughs> oh, final episode! Dude, I, I mean, I think that episode started out a little slow, but that was the point. Otherwise brilliant, they surprised us yeah. many times. I mean, it's like what you said. It, you could just tell that Kim was due for a breakdown. Like, that lifestyle, like, it just made you feel just, like, in pain of how boring it was. And, yeah, <laughs> and she did, and that was the waterworks. Yeah. That that's what that was. Yeah, that was incredible. That was the best scene um, I thought. That was just unbelievable acting. Like you, it, you could feel it. You really could. That was a different kind of cry. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like that oh, was God. everything from multiple years. Oh, yeah. built up. Yep. God. Damn. Exactly. Yeah, um, I really. I think one thing is that you brought up was how cold he was to Kim during the divorce thing. Like, cause uh -huh. I would have thought he would have been more sad versus, yeah. Well, I don't know. He's always right. been irrational and weird. So like I can see it, but I, that, that seemed a little weird to me, but I guess we still haven't he... seen that intersection scene. I don't know if that takes place beforehand or. I think he likes to suppress his emotions at first. And then it catches up with him. I feel like that's what I've noticed is that he likes to kind of play it cool at first and then it, it hits him. Well, I guess we've never actually seen Saul show himself as sad. Like he, he, he's probably just trying he to put out a front and make him. Yeah. He's putting yeah. out a front and just making him, making it seem like, Oh fuck you, man. Like I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. And I've got a good life. I got a good setup here. I don't need you type of thing. Just as a defense mechanism. Um, man, one cool parallel that I thought of was b between Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is the main character in each show having starting out as not so much of as an innocent character, but just like Feeling you got your lawyer more human. Yeah, you got your human lawyer just trying to make it, and you got your uh, your teacher just trying to make it, and then they turn mm -hmm. into these separate personas: Heisenberg, Saul, and they become eventually they become evil. And at first, it's about money, but then they do it because they like it, and that happens in both shows and i think it's really cool it's a, it's a, it's a little more um obvious in breaking bad because they literally even say it like mm -hmm. that scene it, it's even said he's like oh i'm not doing it for money anymore I, I i'm good at it and i like it but the right. same the same thing happens in better call saul with jimmy and saul yeah, and I think it is a little different for better call saul cuz it's more subtle but I don't know. This yeah. episode definitely showed him at his, I feel like, coldest we've ever seen him. Yeah. Like in, shit with, in all these storylines. Yeah, that shit so, with Kim. And then where he wrapped the Ethernet cable around right. his hands like he was going to choke her out. Like, dude, Yeah, we've never seen what? that, really. I know. Like, he hasn't so, killed um, anybody. So, like, that was kind of fucked up. <laughs> And um, yeah, and that might be my only complaint is that I'm not I'm not sure if I'm fully connecting the emotional dots of his his be uh, of how he presents himself. Then again, we're jumping around in between timelines a lot yeah. through this season, 
But still, I mean, they they did it a couple episodes. They're in the past couple episodes. They've been showing him getting a little bit darker, but this one felt like a full on switch to him being cold and evil and resentful and I don't know. Like I was and especially was when chaotic. he was on the phone with Kim. I was surprised at how poorly he was handling that when he was talking to Kim on the phone. Yeah, pretty like like can you? It's pretty standard for if you call up like an ex after six years and be like, "Hey, want to catch yeah. up?" and they're like, "Uh, no." <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty. But pretty I normal know, he response. Doesn't even say that really though. He like comes out the gates bragging immediately. Yeah. Like, hey, how's it going down there? Uh, sounds like it sucks. I'm pulling schemes and getting away with it up here. You want to come join me and have it be like the old days? Like he didn't even try and get to know her or listen to her at all he was just like here's how i'm doing and this is the cool shit that's happening doesn't it sound awesome it's like really childish and that's what i kind of felt in this episode is that he was feeling very shallow and childish and i don't know D- didn't and- like him i this is the first time i've really not liked saul at all during an episode yeah but I can see it, it like you're supposed to not like him like what you're supposed to not like Walt eventually. Yeah, but I wasn't liking Walt like just before the final season, I would say, is when I fully started hating him. This is like this is the second to last episode. And it seems a little bit like too fast of a switch. Like it was just almost a little too aggressive here, but. I don't know. Maybe they were just yeah, because he was never really like a moments. I'm not sure. Yeah, because he never was like a dickhead, you know. Like yeah, he's yeah, sleazy like straight up. and a slime ball, but he was never like directly an asshole to people, and especially to Kim. Yeah, he was um, mean, mean with the divorce, and yeah, that was rough. And the um, where he was like robbing that guy, like yeah. That was, that was just Getting very and, careless yeah. and greedy. So he, yeah, it's it seems like pretty off the deep end. Pretty, I wouldn't say randomly. I, mean, I know that there's still answers that we're gonna get, and yeah, it'll be I think, uh, right. I think all I'm waiting for is maybe, and we'll definitely see it in the last episode. I would hope is the moment that like breaks him, where he confesses how he actually feels about himself you know like actually confronts what really is jimmy mcgill you know like yeah you break behind the anger and you get the 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 feelings right so yeah yeah maybe this episode i i am almost certain it'll pay off a lot more after the finale um but but overall i still liked it yes another thing no 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 yeah i mean the last thing I think we should talk about is that fucking brilliant scene with Kim and fucking Jesse Jesse sharing a smoke. Like that was really, really well done. Totally surprising. Really didn't think they would be in the episode at all after the, like after their little stint there. It's like, Oh cool. They had a cameo and that's it. But they gave him like a real character building important scene, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. In interacting with a character from Better Call Saul that's never been in Breaking Bad, it was interesting to see. Yeah, I agree. And I think my main reasoning for liking it is I thought it was a little bit of redemption for Jesse's performance in the last episode. Because in the last episode, (laughs) not only did he look like, not look like Jesse, but something about the acting just felt I like agree. it felt like a 35 year old was it trying, to, trying mm-hmm. to act like a guy yeah. in his early 20s or something and he just it just seemed off whereas this this he felt more like jesse right and and, and th- like this th- thematic pair up was beautiful because you know like we said when they first came on they're like kind of similar characters in the way that they operate yeah. through the storylines in both of these shows so that was really, really cool to see. And they both, well, I guess we don't know what's going to really happen to Kim because she turned, quote unquote, turned herself in. But um, they, they're yeah. both the ones that get away with it. Like Jesse in El Camino gets away. Well, spoiler alert, uh-huh. I suppose. But, <laughs> but you should have seen it by now. The movie came out a while ago. <laughs> Jesse gets away with it. Uh huh. He has a happy ending. 
Yeah. Kim, I guess, doesn't um, really have a happy ending. Well, it, we may not. Here's, I mean, we also Saul doesn't know that Kim did that yet, does he? He only, he's no. only on the run now because this lady pushed the help button. He has no idea that Kim has confessed. Yeah, and now that the police have been notified about. Oh my God! Saul they got Goodman. all this dirt on him. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, no, be the end of Saul fugged. Goodman in this last episode, dude. Yeah, and especially with that that whatever We're probably that car gonna crash see him was. Die. Yeah, probably gonna yeah. see the death of Saul Goodman. Yeah, I'm guessing that we're not getting a happy end. I thought it was. So, I think it's so funny actually. Now looking back, after that f- first full Gene Tactic storyline, where he hung up the suit and he was just hanging with Marion, and it looked like, oh, he's gonna live a nice life. He's done with his schemes. Yeah. He did one last one. He's done. Happy ending, and then. Oh, man. Boom. Yeah. Absolutely not. I remember right. even and saying, I was like, I'd be happy far. with that. Good for him. Yeah. And then, and then. I nope. mean, dude, this, <laughs> right. Same thing happens to Walter White. He has a chance at a happy ending, like just before the final season. But yeah, nope. He keeps on pushing it. So now they we're just, just like kind of seeing that in a more subtle and quicker succession. But then also like amongst many timelines. So like. I don't know. It it is a little confusing at some points emotionally with where they're at, but I I'm really really loving how they're balancing it still. I think they're cutting in and out. Like what they did with the color on his sunglasses when he was watching the commercial, that was like a brilliant crossover yeah. with how they're doing black and white and such. So, they're they're doing a really good job with with visually tying this all together, and I'm excited to see the finale. It's going to be just Saul Goodman on the run and the ending of him. And I'm excited and we're going to have to wait, but we'll see it. We'll see it in its full fleshed glory when the time comes. Damn straight. Um, yeah, man, I don't really have a whole lot more to say about it. Yeah, that was a great honest. episode. Vince Gilligan did great. It was visually one of the best episodes of the season. And uh, it surprised Kim, me a lot. Still, yes, that that one scene solidified it. Then again, we've seen her showcase her skills multiple times, but that was a breaking point that was so brilliantly and uniquely done. So I can't wait to see what they do with the finale. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in once again. Please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when new shit comes out because it's not going to be out next Monday, so you'll get notified when it does come out. All right? But my name is Dolan Davieu, and from across the country is my brother, Tana! <laughs> Beautiful. All right, and we are signing off. Signing off, except for right. We've got to find a good program on the television. Cool. What is that goddamn noise? What noise? <laughs>